love the recently launched Huawei Mate 50 Pro and we're not alone in thinking that it's hands down the best camera phone on the market today. What the rest of the hardware, including the Kunlun glass and the orange vegan leather variant, is also top notch. But the Huawei Mate 50 Pro, as excellent as it is, doesn't ship with Google Mobile Services and Google Apps. Fortunately, there's a new workaround that allows you to run Google Apps on it or any Huawei device for that matter without making you feel like you're jumping through hurdles just to open the Google Apps and services that you normally use. The solution? Well, it comes in the form of an app called Gbox. Its setup is pretty much straightforward. Even better, you can download Gbox for free on the app's official website. In this video, we're going to walk you through the steps in downloading your favorite Google Apps using Gbox. But first, what is Gbox? Gbox is a virtualization app that lets you access your Google account and Google apps, including essential ones such as a Play Store in a sandbox environment. It's a clever workaround that lets you download apps and devices that don't ship with GMS and the Play Store. It also lets you basically clone an app that's already installed on your unit so you can use two accounts on one device and receive messages from both accounts without them interfering with one another. Of course, we still recommend downloading alternatives for Google Apps on the App Gallery, which is the default app store for downloading apps and Huawei devices. For instance, instead of Gmail, we prefer Huawei's native email app, which is a strong substitute for Gmail and offers a complete email experience as well. So how do you install Gbox on your device and download Google Apps from it? First, open your web browser and download the app from the official source. Once downloaded, open the app, agree to all the prompts, and make sure to enable all the necessary permissions the app requires. This will make the app more stable and push your alerts, emails, and notifications in a timely manner to help you avoid missing out on anything that's important. You may have noticed that the Google Play Store app is already built into the Gbox app. By default, the Play Store icon should appear on the main screen. If it doesn't, you can click on an app recommended by Gbox and then press the back button to go to the Play Store's main screen. If the Play Store app is there, then launch it as you normally would in an Android device and from there, sign in with your Google account. Now that you have the Play Store running on your device, you can proceed to downloading any app you want, but be sure to add a shortcut to the home screen after downloading for easy access. Oh, and feel free to use the search bar to find apps and games. Let's start with Google Maps. Search for Google Maps in the search bar, install the first result you'll find with this icon, and add a shortcut to your home screen for easy access. Our favorite navigation app, Google Maps, will help you navigate your surroundings faster. It can also show you contextual information based on where you are and where you're headed. Now let's try to download League of Legends Wild Drift on our device. Open the Play Store app in the Gbox sandbox and search for League of Legends Wild Drift. It should show you this app as the top result. Install it, then open it to download additional resources that are needed to play the game. If you're not familiar, Wild Drift is basically League of Legends for mobile devices. It has quickly become one of the most popular MOBAs for Android, thanks to its solid gameplay and mechanics and, of course, its ties to its original PC counterpart. Next up is the mobile app of PPI, one of the largest and most trusted banks in the Philippines. To download it, simply type in PPI in the search bar and install this app. The official PPI application lets you conveniently access your account and your device as well as make payments, send money, set limits for your debit card, and so much more. Running the BPI app via Gbox even lets you open an account in just a few steps without physically going to the bank. Convenient, isn't it? Finally, let's try Disney Plus. 
a video streaming app that recently launched in the Philippines. As always, open the Play Store app in Gbox, then type in Disney in the search bar. Download this app and sign in or register in case you don't have a Disney Plus account yet. Disney Plus lets you stream content from Disney's most popular franchises including Star Wars and Marvel. So if you're looking to binge movies and shows from Star Wars and the MCU this holiday season, Disney Plus is a perfect app for you. Another cool thing about Cheapbox is that it lets you update the apps you've downloaded in case you're not sure if you have the latest version. You can either download updates via the Play Store or long press an app in Cheapbox, then choose the upgrade option to update it manually. To update the Cheapbox app itself, head to the official website we showed you earlier and compare the version you're running to the one hosted on the site. Gbox also allows you to apply a dark theme if you prefer a darker color palette and lets you switch Play Store regions, though you'll probably need another account plus a VPN service to access apps for that region. So that's all you need to know about Gbox, which we believe is an excellent option to get the Play Store and all the Google apps you want running on your device, and then some. It supports background play for apps like YouTube and YouTube Music, it's pretty fast and reliable. It doesn't use a lot of resources on your device. It's ad-free. And of course, perhaps most importantly, it won't cost you a single centavo. You can also use Cheapbox to play AAA games that are not available in the app gallery yet, such as League of Legends Wild Rift, and play them with a the legacy if they were installed natively on your phone or tablet. Video streaming apps like Disney Plus also work on Gbox, except you can't cast your screen to a TV. Not a big deal if you have a smart TV or if you prefer to watch on your smartphone or on the go. Other Google apps that you can install via Gbox include Google Meet, Google Classroom, Google Photos, and Google Drive. If you own a Huawei device and you absolutely need access to Google Apps and Services, it's good to know that workarounds like Gbox exist to make your life a little less stressful. It works with every Google app we have tested and surprisingly supports additional features like background play on streaming apps. It even lets you download and play heavy games such as Wild Rift smoothly and with zero input lag. And thanks to Gbox, it's now easier than ever to recommend standout Huawei devices such as a Mate 50 Pro which you might otherwise overlook.